Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Bible with Jolly Fun number 15. Today we're going to be talking about the long U sound and we're going to be learning about different ways to spell that sound. As you can see, my friends Inky, Bee, and Snake are here with me and we're really looking forward to having a jolly fun time today. But before we jump into the lesson, I just thought I'd sing a little song and you can sing it back if you'd like. And it goes like this. How are you? How are you? How are you today? I am fine. I am fine. I am fine today. How are you? How are you? How are you today? I am sad. I am sad. I am sad today. How are you? How are you? How are you today? I am mad. I am mad. I am mad today. How are you? How are you? How are you today? No matter how you feel today, I'm glad you're here to play. Boys and girls, I hope that you're having a good day today, but even if you aren't, we are so glad to have you here with us. See you in a minute. Here we are on the U sound page. You will see that one way to spell U is with a U and an E. We're going to be learning about some other ways this week also to spell the U sound. But right now, let's listen to our song. I'd like to have a barbecue with you, 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 you. I'd like to have a barbecue with you and you and you. Wow, I would like to have a barbecue with you and you and you. Let's sing that song again. And as you sing you, point to someone. Ready? I'd like to have a barbecue with you, 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 you. I'd like to have a barbecue with you and you and you. Yes, that you sound, because it's a long vowel, is saying the name of the vowel, you. I see a couple of things in my picture that have the U sound. And I'm going to write up here another way to spell the U sound because I'm going to be using it today. One way is with U and E. Another way is with U, pushy letter in the middle, E at the end. All right, let's see what Mrs. Bible can find. I see a cube down here. Let's try to write that word cube. Are you ready? We're going to write it over here. K U. Whoops. Sorry about that, boys and girls. Let's get that erased. Do, 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 do. There we go. And back to our pencil. Cube. B but this says cub. I didn't circle a cub, I circled a cube. So I need that E on the end. And remember how I draw the smile to remind myself it's cube and not cub? All right, I see something else, but before I write it, I've got to make myself some space because it's a super long word. Let's see if first grade can help us out with this word. Back here, outside, I see a dad who's grilling. And it looks like the family is having a barbecue. Can you say that big three-syllable word? Barbecue. Let's try to write barbecue. We can write b, r, 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 r. Do you remember the two letters? A and r. Bar, b, another b. And it sounds like E, like E, but it's a tricky word, so we're just going to put one E. So now we have bar B, 
Let's write Q, k -k 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 with a C, and then U, E together. Let's read that really long word. Ready? Barbecue. Wow, what a big word. Now let's practice with our magic finger pencil, writing our U and E together to make the new sound U. Here we go. Down, over, up, and down. Second letter. Around to the right, over, up, around, and down. Good job, boys and girls. Here we go. This is a really fun game. It's called the spinning hand. Now, wherever the hand stops, I want you to read the sound. Ready? Here we go. What's the sound? Did you remember? Oi, oi. Let's do another one. Did you remember? Uh oh, uh oh. Wow, how about qua, 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 like the duck? Oh, there we go. Oi, oi, oi. There's qua, qua, qua. Let's do a few more. Oh, do you remember? Ch, ch, ch. Like the choo-choo? Oh, ow, ow. Ch, 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 ch. Ng, ng. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Let's do one more. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Good review, boys and girls. Now let's read some words with our U-E spelling for you. And I'm going to see if you can write them as well. So get a pencil and paper or some crayons and markers. And remember, if you want to send pictures of your excellent writing work to me, you can do that at jollyfun 4 you at gmail.com. And I'll try to pop that up at the end of this lesson so you know where to send that good writing. Let's read this word and you can write it too if you want. U, Q, like I am going to give you a Q when it's your turn to sing. All right, let's get my handy pencil here and let's underline those two letters that make the U sound, Q. All right, let's go to the next one. Wow, let's get rid of my lines here. Up, oh, let's get it erased. There we go. Erase, erase, erase. And I'm going to draw my line under the two letters making the U sound. Can you write this big word? Let's see if you can read it and write it. R S R S K U Q. Let's put it together, boys and girls. Res Q Rescue. Good. Rescue. Like the fireman will rescue the cat that's stuck up in the tree. Rescue. All right, let's go to the next one. Here we go. Whoops. All right, can you read it? Fuel. Fuel. Do you know what fuel is, boys and girls? Fuel is another word for energy. Your car needs gas so that it can run. That's the fuel. Your body needs food so it can move and think. And that your fuel isn't gas. What is your fuel? It's food. So good word to know. All right, let's go to the next one. 
Here we go. Wow, really big word. Let's get our eraser. Can you find the U and E before I underline it? You can try to write this word too. This is a big word. We actually had this in a story, I think. Ready? St, st, eh. And this is a really tricky word, boys and girls, because this T is going to sound like a ch, ch, ch. So listen to me read this tricky word. St, eh, chew. Chew, statue, statue. That's a really big word. All right, here's our last one. Let's, oh, we'll leave our U-E there because it looks fine. V-A-L-U, value. Value means how much something is worth, okay? Now, I can tell you, even though I've not met you all, I know your value is priceless. That means no amount of money could pay for you because you are beyond a price. You are priceless. That means really, really special. All right, let's go to our next activity. Now in this activity, we're going to be reviewing some of the sounds that we've already learned. Some of these words need a U-E for you, but some of these words need other sounds. Let's see if you can get them. Here is a helicopter pilot, and it looks like he is saving somebody who fell into the lake. Maybe they fell off a boat. And so the pilot is doing a rescue. What two letters would you write at the end of rescue? See if you can write your letters before I write mine. Ready? U, E. Let's read the whole word. Here we go. Whoops, sorry, boys and girls. Rescue, rescue. All right. Oh, I know what this animal is. We have a lot of these in our yard. This is a squirrel. Hmm, what two letters do I need for qua, qua, qua? Can you write them before I do? Let's see. Squirrel. I needed a Q and a U. Did you get that? I hope so. All right, this is something we don't see very often unless we have a dad that's a car mechanic or a truck mechanic. This is an oil can. So we're going to write the word oil. And the first sound is oi, oi. Do you remember the two letters that you need? See if you can write them before me. Oil, oil. Good job. All right, here's that statue. Statue, that tricky word. Do you remember the two letters you need to write U, the sound U? You need a U and an E, like in rescue. All right, I see two more pictures. This is the number three. Hmm, what two letters do you need for this sound? Th, th. I'm going to write mine, see if you can write yours. I need a T and I need an H three. All right, one more. Sorry, boys and girls. I have a house. Ow! Ow! What two letters do I need for that sound? Let's see if you can get it. Ow! Ow! Oh, you. If you got them all, then well done, you. Now, let's sing our you song one more time. Ready? I'd like to have a barbecue with you, 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 you. I'd like to have a barbecue with you and you and you. And my hope is that maybe you live somewhere that's warm enough that you can get outside and have a barbecue while you're working at home. I will see you next time where we will learn some other ways to spell our you sound. And my hope for you is that you will have a good day. And at the end today, I'm going to play a wonderful video of some water in a stream that Fergus and I saw yesterday when we were out for our walk. Remember how if you need to calm down, you can look out at something in nature. I hope you enjoy this wonderful water that Fergus and I saw yesterday.
I love watching water and I love listening to water. I hope that was helpful for you today as well, boys and girls. It certainly helped to remind me that even though things aren't how they normally are, we still have a beautiful world.